Since we tried to simplify things in SyncMaster 1 compared to SyncMaster, we removed the modulators and uh, we added one sub oscillator per oscillator. The sub oscillator is basically another oscillator and it can connect uh, in different ways to the oscillator. By default, it's connected as a sub oscillator, so it's added. So the signal is added to the oscillator signal, like this. It's also, the pitch of the sub oscillator um, is um, linked to the pitch of the main oscillator. So if you change the pitch of the oscillator, the pitch of the sub oscillator will relatively change as well. this. Let's change this waveform. Now instead of um, connecting it as a sub, let's explore the other types. Or modes. Let's switch to amplitude modulation. Since we switched to amplitude modulation, here instead of the plus sign, we are seeing a multiplication sign, which means um, the signals are actually multiplied instead of being added. Let's also switch to ring modulation. The sign is still multiplication, so again the signals are being multiplied. Uh, but the difference between amplitude modulation and ring modulation is that in amplitude modulation we are adding an offset to the sub oscillator. So we basically preserve the frequencies uh, in oscillator 1 and we add new frequencies by multiplying the two signals versus amplitude modulation but in ring modulation uh, we are not preserving the frequencies of oscillator 1 and we are just creating some new frequencies by multiplying the two signals we can also modulate the phase of oscillator with the sub oscillator signal so to demonstrate this let's choose some sine waveforms it sounds like uh, Yamaha DX7 style FM now I'm just gonna turn down the volume of the sub and modulate the sub volume with the mod envelope here like this yeah, this is the FM bass sound we were looking for. There's also analog fre frequency modulation where we uh, modulate the pitch of the oscillator at audio rate. Versus phase modulation. So phase modulation sounds more bright. 